For this first installment, we've got some important news if you're an owner of a Nintendo 3DS or just thinking of becoming one. And really, if you're neither one yet, what's wrong with you? Looking for a game that will give you a true bang for your buck? Already sunk countless hours into beating your friends at Pokemon and Smash? Games these days have grown in price, but shrunk in length. But stop worrying so much. Here are a few picks by Travis and I that you can sink weeks into. Literally. What's happening? Respond! One large megon and an unknown number of units emerging from the barriers! <sighs> Brian, looks like you and I will have to cut a path through them. Extreme. This is a AAA remake that just hit the 3DS, and man do the hours pile up early and soon you realize you've already sunk 40 hours or more in and there's no turning back from there. Xenoblade is a side quest and story oriented RPG with British voice acting and a knack for dramatics. It offers a wonderfully developed storyline that accompanies its refreshing take on turn-based combat. Xenoblade Chronicles for Wii was the one that got away for a lot of gamers. Don't let that happen twice. I've been playing kart racers since plumbers got their driver's license, but this iteration of the established racing franchise just felt different. I don't know why I cared so much about VR points, but I raced online for hours and hours, days and days, just to get from 1000 to 1500 to 2000 and so on. Mario Kart 7 was the first 3DS game I owned, and there is no handheld game I've played online as much as this one. Fire Emblem has really come into its own as a franchise that resonates in North America. I've played every game that's released in the West and have only been let down once. I'm talking about you, Shadow Dragon. Awakening is great for multiple playthroughs. You can strategize for hours or only a few minutes, and it's still so satisfying no matter what. It's addicting in every sense of the word. Creating your own perfect army and then testing on the battlefield always feels satisfying. There's something about the Monster Hunter series that demands hundreds of hours of your time without making you feel like you've wasted any of it. Upgrading and forging new equipment and weapons is incredibly satisfying, and the combat makes you feel tougher than you probably are in real life. I have memories of finding a booth in the back of some pub with my friends, ordering a pitcher of beer, and slaying monster after monster on a Saturday night. If there's a better use of the short, precious time we have in this world, I don't know what it is. This is the leviathan of long-term gaming commitments. I hate to admit it, but I've sunk more than 300 hours into Animal Crossing. I've even used my Club Nintendo Platinum Reward to get another version of the game so I can play even more. Fishing, fossil collecting, bug catching, island games, gardening, and other random tasks are so magnificently designed and intriguingly boring that you get drawn in. New Leaf is such an escape from traditional gaming and the real world stress that it doesn't even feel like a game sometimes. It's an experience. There you have it. What 3DS games have you sunk a chunk of your life into? For more videos on Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, and PC, make sure to head on over to pixelattack.net.